High bias. Low bias. Low noise. <laughs> uh, does anyone remember those Sertron tapes? Crescent cookies? Those moon-shaped cookies? Okay, no one will probably get that reference at all. Um, and that's okay. <laughs> I remember finding tapes on the side of the road that people had thrown out of their cars because it got eaten. And it's someone's mixtape. And, uh... You know, you take it apart, you splice it back together, and... and try to play it. It amazes me how many people just didn't bother doing anything with the tape. Oh, it got eaten, the tape is ruined. And I'm like, really? One time, at, uh, God, it's been so many things, uh, well, anyway, it, it, there's a place that used to be a thrift store, then it was DSHS, then a church bought the whole property, uh, right near me. I don't know why I'm going into details about that. And, uh, in the parking lot there, I found a tape, and it was someone recording their time spent with a prostitute in their car. It was rather odd. But I found all sorts of tapes. And sometimes people's mixtapes they made were really kind of cool. But, uh... Now, 8-track tapes. Yeah, those things. I don't understand how those ever got popular in the first place. I mean, they were popular for a short time. They were just crap, though. And fixing them was a pain. But if those came, the tape came out of the case, you could usually just fix it by getting a certain amount of play in it, and then you pull one side of the tape and go, and the whole tape goes right back into the case. It was a kind of a... People would look at it and think, oh, that's magic, or something like that, back then anyway. Um, boom! Some messages on Facebook. Facebook. In my Facebook. Now there's some song called, In My Spaceship. And I always think of that, In My Facebook. But, uh... What memories do you have of reassembling a cassette and playing it. Did you ever do that? Are you old enough to remember that sort of thing? Um, I mean, nowadays it's like, you know, you find a CD that someone threw out of their car. Well, not even nowadays. That's Nobody uses those anymore. <laughs> um... You know, uh, ten or more years ago, you know, finding a CD that someone threw outside their car because it, it won't play right anymore. You know, and as long as the top isn't scratched, you're fine. And some of you may be going, the top? It's, it's the bottom. No, the, the top is what you don't want to scratch. All you're doing on a CD... Let me turn down the volume so we don't keep hearing boom. All that you're, you're doing on a CD is you are reading the underside of the top coating on a clear piece of plastic. That's all a CD is. Now, a DVD, they have a coating of plastic on both sides, so it's harder to really damage. But on a CD, as long as you... As long as the top isn't scratched, you can rebuff the bottom and everything's fine. But a lot of people don't seem to know that. And it's... Again, it's it's been fun finding people's mix CDs, but, you know, anymore you don't really find that. Of course, now it would have to be finding someone's thumb drive. They threw their thumb drive out the car because, you know, no, that's not it either, because people will uh, have stuff on their phones or their, their iPods or whatever, and uh, it's not about having a, a thumb drive with all your stuff on it. 
It's weird. It's weird. And I'm just rambling. So, you know. Biases. High bias, low bias, low noise. I always thought that was a funny phrase too. Low noise. Low noise. What? Where did they get that name from? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. 